next guest is a judge on Ultimate Summer Cook-Off, and today she is here making one of her signature dishes, barbecue jerk chicken with grilled Ooh. pineapple Ooh. slaw. Please welcome back one of our favorites, Jamika Passau. Welcome, Jamika. Yeah. We're having you back. I love We're so you. excited to have you. Carlos and Alexa, we're so excited about your jerk chicken. They said we are not going anywhere. <laughs> we are sticking around for this. They're ready for the heat. That's yes. right. And Hallmark star Brittany Bristow is also joining us. We're we'll speaking with her just a little bit about her new movie. Everybody, and, and Larissa and Maria, we couldn't beat them away either. They said we want this jerk chicken. Everybody wants some. So why is jerk chicken one of your go-tos? Well, even though I was born and raised in the South, my family's Jamaican, and my dad calls himself the king of jerk. <laughs> yes. So I guess that's in a good way. To go yeah. along with that. Don't right. encourage him, please. <laughs> but no, he calls himself the king of jerk, so I guess that makes me the princess the of prince. jerk. Oh, I love yes. that. So that it's always been my go-to, and I've kind of taken his recipe, finessed it a little bit, and just and made it my own. It. You yes. really have. Have you ever made jerk chicken I before? haven't, but I understand there are different types of recipes, so I'm interested in this. There yeah. are. Traditionally, there are two different types of methods, and I think people are afraid of jerk chicken because they think it's just supposed to be hot and mm -hmm. spicy yes. and just kind of blow your head off. It's not. It's a very, it's a balance of flavors. So it, the dry method is just dried spices, so a combination like allspice and garlic and okay. thyme, things like that. Are they always the same spices? Traditionally, they have to have um, garlic and allspice uh -huh. is what really sets it off, and you got to have a little bit of heat in there and thyme. My dad says it can be Jamaican if there's no fresh thyme in <laughs> oh, there. Oh, okay. That. And I then there's the dad. wet method, and that's what we're going to do today. All right, so let's we get have started. All of our spices here, so lots of cayenne. We have some dried thyme, cinnamon, oregano, and and um, garlic powder. It just kind of gives that warm. Wait, is all of that going in here? Yes. Oh, so hold on, hold wow. on. Let's not spill that. There. How are we going to do that? Come on. Just like that? Just shake it all oh, in there. Oh, boy. It's a lot and of flavor. And a fun thing I like to do when I have my guests over, I will make a big batch of these spices and just put them in little baggies, put a little ribbon on it and a label. Oh, that's a and then they can idea. take it home with them. What really a nice Because guess. if not, they'll ask me to make the jerky. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I'm they'll like, now they can make it themselves. Smart. There you You're go. So smart. we have all of our dry spices in here. Then we add in some green onions, uh -huh. about a half a bunch there. All right. Kosher salt and coarse ground pepper. So a lot of salt. I mean, you put a and lot of chicken in there. Well, there's a lot of salt because a, a people think that marinades, when they taste it without putting on the meat, they're like, oh, it's too salty. It has to have that salt to penetrate through mm -hmm. the meat. Okay. So don't think when you taste this, you've done something wrong, okay? okay. So we have Dijon mustard Dijon. here. Can you use yellow mustard? You can use yellow, but I like the Dijon. It offers that tanginess to it. Yeah. Extra layer. And then it just helps all those spices cling to the meat. Then go. we have a little citrus going. So there's orange juice. Mm. Oh, well, give it a little that's sweetness. Nice. Sweetness. And then lime juice as well, because oh, wow, that kind great. of mellows out some of the heat. Mm. And that's a, a cooking tip. If you ever overspice something, add a little acid to it, oh, and that'll right. just kind of balance things out for you. Can all we right. say this is amazing? Wow. What? Uh, that's right. over there. It's really there good. There is a little heat to it, but yeah. it's good. Got a well, but here's it's just what's bringing the heat is the scotch bonnet. It peppers. Ah, wow. It's also awesome. low. Awesome. It's hot like you, Brian. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> so we'll put this in here too. And wow. I like with the wet method, you can blend everything up together wow. so that way you get all of the spices. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. There we go. Could you put this marinade on anything else? You definitely can put this on anything, but I will say if you're going to marinate something, make sure it has the bone in and skin on okay. because I like to marinate for about four hours if you can, 24 hours if you really have the time. Okay. And we're putting this over chicken wings, but I would not do it over like a skinless, boneless chicken breast okay. because- to break it down? Exactly. All those acids and spices in there, it's just going to break the meat down too quickly. Remember can you over marinate? Like is there, for this, for this specifically with the skin and the bone? For the skin and the wall, I would de don't go anything over 24 okay. hours. You Got it. Gone. Okay. You're just gonna right. start. Not too far. You're gonna start cremating your meat once you put it on the on the grill there. <laughs> so we'll let that sit. You see how thick that marinade yeah, is. Really, it covers yeah. everything. Beautiful. And we have some that's already gone here for 24 hours. And we're gonna put this right on our grill. Okay. For you how long? We'll Pretty cook far. it for about 15 to 20 minutes, like just until it's, it's cooked terrible. all the way through on the inside. <laughs> all right. And you should get that so nice. how hot do you want hey, your grill? You know, they usually have a, a temperature gauge on the front. Well, yeah, if you're doing a gas grill, of course, that's the easiest. About 350 is what you want to go okay. for. And Can I ask you, do you do it closed sure. or open? Well, I started, I started off closed because you want to make okay, sure so you get I. that nice sear on the outside. Yeah, I find that's the only way to get it to char yeah. grill. There you go. You have to have it closed. So we'll put all of this on here. And then you, um, I know you usually cook chicken to 165 interior, but do you take it off early? I mean, uh, people worry about it getting dry if you Ooh. put it on. The great thing about this is that even though you're going to 165, that's just the safe point. So you know it's done all the way through. But if you want to stop the coloring, because with all those sugars and spices, it'll start 
start to get brown really quickly. So if you're afraid of it coloring too much, put it off to the cool side of your grill okay. so you can just get the it cooked all the way through, but you still have that nice color so wow. you don't burn it. And I love okay. that you have some barbecue sauce. Have you any specific barbecue sauce? Well, this is so flavorful, you can eat it without the sauce. But if you're a saucy kind of girl, which I know you are, Zabby. A little saucy. Uh -huh. You're very yeah. saucy. I've been called saucy. <laughs> you can just have your own store-bought barbecue sauce and put a little bit of the jerk spice in there, a little orange juice, That's pineapple beautiful. juice even. How beautiful is and that? And it smells so good. It, it smells yeah. so amazing. I make this all the time, and the neighbors just start coming over. I <laughs> bet. <laughs> I bet grill. you. The Panna Vegas will be there oh in no time. Can we talk about ultimate sauce? That barbecue good, sauce. Right? So <laughs> good. It's good, right? So good. Right? He's already finished. Let's talk about it. the ultimate summer cook off for a moment. <laughs> yes. Okay, so August 5th is the first episode. So excited. What can we expect this season? All right, so it's a competition show that I'm the judge of, and it is the most amazing. Ju it's it's mind blowing with some of the things that you'll see contestants put on the grill, like desserts, appetizers, Ooh, sauces. Wow. You're gonna watch this and be like, I gotta do that when I get home. Like I was watching on the edge of my seat, like, oh my gosh, are they gonna finish? And like, you're judging I'm, it. I'm judging it. I'm not even competing. It was so intense, and the winner gets twenty-five thousand dollars. Yeah. So it goes down all the way to the end. You have oh to watch goodness. it all the way oh, through. It's yeah, such yeah, an amazing yeah. show. I don't know where you found the time to come over here and make us this beautiful jerk well, chicken. Not to I mention always. your pineapple coleslaw. I love this. Well, I love gorgeous. doing this and serving on the side to kind and cut some of that heat but add a little texture with it and a lot of people are afraid to grill fruits they think oh I can just do yeah. pineapple you can do watermelon peaches so good mango I do peaches on my burgers now get rid of tomatoes so yeah. like that I mean it's so much fun so we've just grilled some pineapple dice it up add it to some shredded cabbage with red bell pepper oh, adds a little, little cilantro yeah. and instead of doing a mayo base we did oil and vinegar oh, so nice. which sugar, is vinegar. Yeah. I mean you could have you could have easily I eaten this on your uh, gold medal skin. yeah Absolutely. your gold medal day yeah, just keep it a little healthy if you would like, I would love to serve you. Oh, we would That's love to have you. some. Yes, Thank please. You. I mean, I can't talk about competitions and, and eating if I don't feed people. Like, that, come on, I've got to feed beautiful. you. That's beautiful, all the colors on the plate It's beautiful as well. colors, nice texture, and it will last if you're grilling out in the heat. Instead of doing mayo, it will last. It has that beautiful crunch, that brightness, and it's you can use any fruit that you like, really. Right. So you guys grab some chicken, I gotta, I mean, I gotta dig have in, yeah, get a wing, I'm gonna dip it in the yeah, sauce. Little, I mean, they're uh, already mm. done. So Listen, I finished almost everything on my plate.